uh, alright. This is Take Whatever Take This Is. And we're gladly to come back recording again for you guys and for yeah. you know for this podcast. So welcome back Finally. to the Far Side of the Moon. We're Far Side Podcast. And I'm Brian Paredes. I'm Hazel De Ocampo. And she's Hazel De Ocampo. And we're the host for this podcast. And as always, as always, with a T. With a T. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, but... Welcome you back, see, guys. Haven't been back in a month. We forgot everything that we're forgot supposed to, to do. We, sp- we, we forgot to speak. We forgot how to make script. Yeah, we're just winging this <laughs> the one. Grammar. The grammar. The <laughs> grammar. Yeah, this yeah. Is we're outstanding. Just Let's just see how this goes. And uh, yeah, so again, welcome back to the Far Side of the Moon. Kazel, can you tell us? What Farside Podcast is all about. So, Farside Podcast is all about us two learning, growing, and sharing our thoughts and experiences set apart from the rest of the world. Mm-hmm. All while making fun of it in like a good way. In a good way. Of course, we don't want to make fun of the world yeah. badly. Um, we're happy to announce that we're back. I think we, I've already we're said that. <laughs> But yeah, we're back. After a month. We're excited. What did we do in a month of being absent? How was your month? How was your week? How was my month? Yeah. Um, it's been both. I would say it's been both busy mm-hmm. and not busy. Not busy. <laughs> slash also. lazy. Agreed. Um. So like, I guess the sec- the second half, the first second half of the month was quite busy. Mm-hmm. Since emotions plus events happened, right. and then the rest of the weeks were just On being lazy. <laughs> But yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, don't be lazy. But guys. that's how I've been. Yeah, don't be lazy and don't make excuses. Not recording an episode. <laughs> <laughs> well, just try to find a way to like keep moving. I don't know. Yeah, I'm a hypocrite. For that one. How's your week? <laughs> for my week, I think it's basically the same as yours. There's like, you know, been tough rides. Of course, it's been a year of quarantine. Sadly. Sadly. And uh, we've joined this marketing camp from Ateneo. It's a university here in the Philippines. It's a marketing camp. It's all about marketing. Of course. Duh. <laughs> <laughs> it's in What the else? name. Actually, it's so weird. It's so funny. Because we mm-hmm. paid for this kit for this camp, and what we got <laughs> was medicine, <laughs> a whole bunch of medicine. <laughs> did you, did yeah. you know the bars were expired? Oh, what really? You know, like the... Yeah. Oh, <laughs> like <the> oh. <laughs> I I already ate it. Like you I did? ate it so fast. Oh no. yeah. Oh no. Oh, But no. I didn't know it was expired. You did. You didn't taste it. You didn't taste it. I ate it. But like, it didn't taste the expiry, you know, the, the expired no. taste. No. No. But wow, you ate an expired nice. bar, fitness bar. That's good for you. Just an, that's an achievement. Yeah, you know, fitness. It's a, it's a uh, weird month. <laughs> at least for True. me. Or the mm-hmm. both of us. True. <laughs> yeah. So, like, for this topic, the man, for this podcast episode... We're just gonna wing it, as we said earlier. We're gonna talk about our faith because don't you guys know that this podcast is faith based? It's faith based podcast. It is. It is. I didn't know that. It's gonna be all about a mindset about focusing at our own path, our our own journey as an individual or as a creator, and why we've set course or why we've set a course to make this podcast happen. So basically, we're just gonna talk about our faith and fun things. Don't worry, this this is not gonna be a seminar that you're gonna <laughs> get bored and stuff. Please stay. Yeah, we're here to have fun, so just stay until the end. We're gonna appreciate that. Yeah, to start it off for this topic is with a question. What's Whoa. the question? Whoa! What is a question? Man, Brian, can you add that like whoa effect? <laughs> Let's see. 
Whoa effect. Okay, ready? This is gonna be... Oh, gosh. Whoa. Okay, here we go. What pushed us to make this podcast happen? Oh. <laughs> I was gonna go first. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, yeah. I'll go first. Okay, you I'm... go first. What, do you what think pushed, pushed us, us to make yeah. this? Oh, because I was the... I was the one who initially wanted one. And you were supposed to have your own. I did. Right? I did. Yeah. I did. Gonna talk yeah. about that loss. I had a talk show in this Instagram account. Shout out. People may vary. That's at people may vary underscore on underscore. Instagram. So I had the talk show there. It's the same thing as this podcast, but you know, very Brian Nish, very me. <laughs> And it died because... What was the name? It was called Farsa. Wait, what? No! <laughs> That's R. <laughs> That's R. Podcast. Oh, okay. You really forgot one. about yeah. it. Yeah. But it's called Drinking Space. It's where you drink, not alcohol, but, you know, <laughs> just relax. Talk about life. Just talk Maybe about life. About and it's dead because I didn't know how to handle, like, a talk show by myself. And it was mm-hmm. very rushed. That's yeah. the gist of it. Cool. Okay. Cool. <laughs> no. But yeah, I actually wanted to make one. Because I've been... I was very into podcasts like last mm. year or like two years ago. And then I knew you were... I, don't, I didn't know what was happening with drink, drinking space. But... Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> I just knew I wanted one. And then... Actually, we wanted one with our friends, but then, yeah, I just ended up the both of us. So, I pushed this because I wanted to. You wanted I had nothing to. else to do, to be honest. You wanted to. Of course you wanted to. I I wanted to. You wanted <laughs> no, to. No, yeah, the both of the us. The both of us. So, like, basically, this podcast is just, I mean, we've said it before that it's all about acknowledging our learnings, growing, sharing our thoughts and experience us to, to the people, to the people who are listening to this, and just growing set apart from the rest of the world. Basically, we got that from, like, being holy. If you guys don't know what holy means, do you know what holy means, Hazel? Not holes. Not holes. Not, like, lots of holes. <laughs> <laughs> holy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, holy means set apart. Set apart from worldly things. And just basically reconnecting with with the Lord. That's the gist of it. But we have a mission and vision for this podcast. And I think we want to share it with you guys. Yeah. So, do you remember our mission and vision? <laughs> uh, well, oh. not like specifically, but... I, yeah. was an, I was in the beginning. In the I, beginning. Yeah. In the origin story, no. Because in the beginning, I wanted to have a podcast. And I love helping people. I've always had the desire to help people. Mm. And, you know, when the pandemic helped... uh, Help? I helped. (laughs) (laughs) When the pandemic happened, it's hard to reconnect with people. Because for me, I'm not so used to talking to people online. And I wanted a different way and platform to help others and so right yeah i wanted to make a podcast and it was a dream of mine for mm-hmm. like months and you know we have lots of time so why not part of the mission is to really show our perspective because we have lots of things that we agree upon and that not a lot of people really talk about. Yeah. Well, from what I experience, not a lot of people have the same opinions as us. That's and true. so I was like, you know what? I want to be heard. You want to be heard? I'm going to, let's make a podcast. <laughs> right. So, yeah, that's part, like, that's part of our mission. Yeah. And yeah, we both met in the middle and we both actually wanted that ours, as that's true. a mission. Even for drinking space, yeah. but you were... You yeah. know, I was alone. Couldn't do things alone. 
this podcast, I know, we're, we're gonna say it again. It's all about sharing God's light. Well, I didn't say that again, but... No, <laughs> yeah, I did it. not. But yeah, just basically um, growing set apart from the rest of the world as teenagers because we all know teenagers nowadays are being like being so worldly and we want to try to find a way to be set apart from did i just have a voice crack or no did a I? bunch a bu- wow a bunch okay brian gotta stop having voice cracks well basically yeah that's that's the podcast brian having voice cracks from time to time but no yeah Liberty. we just want to share the light that god provides for us for the teenagers who are you know living so worldly and we want to find a way mm-hmm. to just grow set apart what do you think was the most important thing in making this podcast you know with our own journey what was the most important thing the most important thing i could say this for the both of us was solidifying yeah. and knowing the purpose of what we want for the podcast and what path we want to take with yeah, the podcast that's true because we both have of course the same vision in how we want to go about it yeah and that's the foundation of a podcast or anything actually yeah. and so yeah that, that was that actually is something that we've figured out fast yeah so yeah, like maybe less than two months <laughs> <laughs> like, no, But, like less than a week yeah less than a week yeah which is like so cool and of course not an accident that happened yeah exactly so yeah that was of course the most important thing it's so amazing that we've like created a mission and vision and value for this podcast right away before making all the other designs and branding the one thing that stood out for for the both of us the most was the value of this podcast i think that's what um a lot of branding or we've learned this in marketing we all know value yeah. the camp we we know na the value of a, a business or your brand it's important so for the next question were there any hardships and insecurities making this podcast or even now mm, in terms of hardships making the podcast would have to be the design <laughs> that's the most unexpected part we yeah, yeah, yeah. occurred i know which it took like maybe two or three months mm-hmm. so in total we would say that we created this in like four months so it's funny how we had this whole mission and vision yet visually we did not know what we wanted to to do, to do or to perceive right because we contradicted a lot yeah <laughs> like we yeah because co- okay we both are cre- like creatives Mm-hmm. And we both have, of course, our different styles. And right. so, yeah, we contradicted and ag- we we agreed and disagreed a lot. That's Mostly true. disagree. Mostly disagree. Because it's very important to us, of course. Since this, this is a project that will be on the internet for a long time. A long, no, not a long time. Forever. <laughs> forever <laughs> yeah and so we of course want to make a good impression and show the hard work through right. what we like doing designing and for the insecurities i would have to say that recently i had kind of a rush of anxiety over me because mm. i think it was last episode where I was overthinking a lot of what right. I said and of course there are things that I still want to mention but I don't know it was ru- it was rough it was rough that that time and there were also lots of things happening personally per- just personal battles with like the things that are going on in my head yeah and yeah that just messed me up and discouraged me to continue because I had lots of fear into what I would say and be judged by what other people's opinions are if they agree or disagree. Right. So, 
Yeah, just recently I felt that insecurity because I value people's opinions a lot. We were both actually we were both insecure at the same time. What a coincidence? No, I don't think so. Uh-huh. <laughs> we were insecure of like how will this podcast would go and that we're starting to compare it to other people, to other podcasters mm-hmm. too. If people even value us as like they are. Mm. And those were the hard times. And of course, there there was a lot of comparing as you said. You value other people's opinions, and it was it was hard, no, for sure. Yeah. Of course, we need we need to bounce back. For you guys, for the people who are listening. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah, and maybe not mostly, but the the reason why we've bounced back was because of our value for this podcast, mm-hmm. right? That's why it was important to. Have a value in everything you do, because if you don't have a value, and you fall, and then boom, you're just gonna stay there because you don't know mm-hmm. why you're there. And value helps you to bounce back through those hardships, and maybe feeling lost and insecure. Of course, as we mentioned, what do you think was our mindset like, or for you at least, for the both of us? What did God tell you throughout those times? Hmm. For my mindset, going through those hardships, I would say, per- my personal personality wise, when it comes to doing things I love or are passionate about, I want to strive doing a hundred percent and doing the things that I expect myself to do. Right. And that I I would say that that mindset is both good and bad because we of course need to know reality and what we can achieve with our skills and with the things that we know and when it comes to not meeting my expectations of course i'm disappointed but yet it's something we all have to go through right and we all have to learn but over time, actually, I just learned to adjust and to be flexible with the things going out my way and trying to work my way around it rather than avoid it and be discouraged right. and just not do it anymore. And I would say that over time, knowing that I put all my trust on God, why should I worry? Yeah. And why should I try doing things on my own and have my own head knowledge knowing what's right or what will make people happy and knowing and also seeing how much support we've also gotten and how much feed how much good feedback we've had is encouraging and shows that we are on the right path and that what we're doing is not wrong or what we're doing is also helping others right and yeah that's why we're still continuing of course and yeah just knowing that god placed this in our lives on purpose and not by accident that's great i love that and uh, yeah because it's hard to continue when there are a lot of insecurities throughout the days or like just making this podcast it was like, oh, we got to make this. It's for, for all of the fun. But since it already yeah. happened, that's where the insecurities came. You said this to me before, and it really inspired mm-hmm. me. Like When you said, nah, we're doing this, maybe not for all the people. Even just one soul gets to turn to Jesus and just accept him for who he is. Mm-hmm. That's enough. It's also a great reminder or realization na we're doing this podcast not for the mainstream you know but we're doing this for for god for whatever god has might or might have placed in our path we're doing this for him and that we're not doing this because oh 
the world told us to. Or like, we're not doing this because of, whoa, that voice crack. I knew it would come. I knew <laughs> I like, it would come. I was, like, I knew I was it would waiting. Come. Yeah, that's basically my mindset. And it was a great mm-hmm. reminder talaga to just focus on what God has a uh, place in your path and just be grateful for it. We've talked about our mindset and etc. and why God has led us here. We both agree now for this podcast we don't want it to be mainstream we just want to do this podcast at our own pace and that's amazing and that's something i really admire so yeah why do you think we want god to be in this podcast and why do we think faith-based thoughts and learnings is you know required for the both of us well making this podcast requires faith-based learnings because both of our conversations with each other with friends are always faith-based since we grew up with lots of christian friends and we grew up well we grew up in a christian household i assume (laughs) you assume (laughs) i assume and so it requires faith-based because that's how we learn and process this stuff and right we both know that head knowledge is something that's worldly and that everyone yeah. has and not everyone you know knows jesus doesn't know the truth you gotta and, know jesus <laughs> yeah <laughs> and with his knowledge and the things that we've learned over time is something not a lot of people get to realize sure we can listen to other podcasts that are very helpful to the things that we want to solve, like our problems, but we know that whatever comes from God is the truth and that we can't rely just on ourselves knowing what's right and what's wrong. And so, yeah, just knowing that both of us even have the same values, that we know that's the right path. Or that's the right thing to do when solving or going on with life. And I'm not saying we're religious or it requires <laughs> you to yeah. pray an amount of times, pray, uh, read the Bible an amount of times. It's really having that relationship with Jesus. That's true. And that is something that you can't defi- that others can't define. I agree with that because it's kind of hard to just know all of these things. The reason why we had strength and will to do this podcast because um, because of God and how He provides strength for us and that it's everlasting and that everything everything that we've learned is from Him. Trust me, we didn't learn this from just textbooks and stuff. <laughs> we didn't read this in wiki sites. We learned this from experiences. <laughs> <Imagine>. <laughs> we learned this through experience with, with God. And it's really about your relationship with him. And now we're doing what the best what we can here at our own path. I don't know if that was the right grammar. <laughs> I was gonna say I was gonna <laughs> add at the end it shows how <laughs> unper- how not perfect we are. Okay, to re- rephrase that. God pushed us to do what we can here at our own path. I don't know if it's <laughs> our own pace or path. Re- no, our own, you know. Go, the God path has the God um, path. <laughs> what the God path? No, no, no. What? Uh, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. We just want to talk about like what makes us different from the rest of the people or the creators. We all have our own path, and we need to strive to do good or strive to do our best for God in that path so like how can we focus what makes us different from the rest i don't want to sound selfish or sound prideful when saying what makes us different (laughs) from other people because i'm sure we're the same as everyone but yeah when you include god in anything he is the most perfect higher up ever and we are the most unperfect unpolished people yeah and so when you add him to the equation 
that's what makes us different. That's how we can be different. Knowing that he is someone that we can go to and rely on when we are doing this podcast, for example. Because, yeah. I mean, we can talk about all these worldly stuff and have the same opinions as, let's say, like certain influencers and all these other right. people. Because the quote unquote, the right opinions or the right answers to everything are all opinion based. And what is most popular or the most thing everyone agrees to is considered right yeah. in this world. But for us, we have this platform to not just go against that, but to voice out what we think. Yeah, making this is not an accident. And it's not. It's not. It's not. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> and so it's not. we want to be the ones to make a difference and to bring people into light and truth mm. amen your <laughs> your <laughs> amen yeah, yeah that's, that's true i really love that okay it's really a different journey for everybody it's for to stretch our own faith and our own character we can all feel lost in that journey and feel insecure but you know in the end we need to be or we need to remain faithful to god and what you have at the moment. Mm -hmm. Because God will open doors when you remain faithful. Mm -hmm. We said earlier that we don't want to be mainstream like the rest of the world. Mm -hmm. That's why far side podcast we need to like, set, <laughs> we set far, apart. Go far. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go far. Like, go on. I mean, not really, that's not the name. but <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just basically being set apart from the rest of the world and focusing in your own path. Because we all go down a road where God has set us upon. So, to end things off, what did we learn through our own journey? We need to focus on our own path. We don't need to focus on others' path, but to just acknowledge God in ours. Because God has different stories or like special stories written for all of us and for this podcast. That's why this podcast is very special. For me, I would say that time is important and, and that everyone has their own pace. Because for us, there are lots of things that we did really fast or that we've come up just on the spot <laughs> yeah, true. that worked out true. for us. And true. there are things that, that we didn't really expect that would take so much time. Yeah. And true. we don't... We shouldn't have... or. We shouldn't feel the pressure of finishing and feel the pressure that, oh, it's taking a long time. I should give up because, I mean, we can't just tell a plant to grow on the spot. Like It takes time Ooh, and yeah. the more time it takes, the more it's going to flourish, the more it's, you're going to bear fruit from all the time that it's been trying to grow. I think looking back, at how much we've put into this despite it taking like four months which is quite a long time to be honest it paid off it paid for off. sure at the very end so for the second and last question for this segment is how did we remain faithful throughout our own journey and what made it worth it till the very end I'm not doing this for the world but i'm doing this for him and that we know that if we remain faithful to god and what we have he will open doors it may not go our way it might not go as what we planned but when we look back it's better than what we could have imagined it's better than what we could have asked for for me i would say that this was a seed. This one thought of just making a podcast yeah. is a seed planted by God. And throughout the journey of making it and knowing how we're here now, 
it's made. We're recording episodes. <laughs> yeah. That... Fourth episode, everybody, is the fourth episode. <laughs> episode. It's just the fourth. Yeah. The fourth episode. Um, yeah, just seeing that seed planted and grow made me very... <laughs> it, it encouraged me because I know me my like me myself i can't do this like i don't have the willpower to do this but true with god's strength mm -hmm. and through people's encouragements and their anticipation it so, also yeah. helped me push through and f quote unquote finish but i mean i mean we this is a journey that still continues that's right and this, yeah, as you said, it will open new doors. It made me confident that there are lots of things that I may not know that I can do. And, you know, you can do it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you can do it. Because yeah, if you know your purpose and know why you're doing this, it's gonna be worth it in the end and it'll always be successful because if it's for god he will always win the battles mm. period period, <laughs> period. <laughs> so of course it's for god and we're fulfilling that purpose by sharing it sharing our thoughts opinions and values to other people yeah and that's not possible without the help of god because all of the thank the you things, god yeah, thank you god <laughs> thank you jesus <laughs> yeah it wasn't really possible throughout those times if it weren't for god all right so that's it for this episode four did you enjoy Hazel? i enjoyed it a lot i hope everyone <laughs> gets to yeah. gain brain cells from this yeah true and that you get to learn as well yeah we hope that you guys enjoyed it has been all about a mindset about focusing in our own path as an individual as people you know as creators and why we've set a course to make this podcast happen and of course what did god tell us through those times if you want to be updated with more future content like episodes snippets and when we'll post check us out on facebook and instagram at farside podcast not that hard to spell not that hard <laughs> <laughs> yeah you can listen in to us in different kinds of podcasting platforms we're in what spotify of course mm -hmm. apple podcast we're there we're also in mm -hmm. anchor shout out mm. we'll do a shout out for the next time but we're also in apple podcast yeah. so we hope you guys and enjoyed this youtube episode. oh yeah we're on YouTube. And, youtube and youtube we hope you guys Here. enjoyed this episode again we'll see you guys on the far side of the moon bye bye peace drink your waters drink your milks, medicines whatever. medicines stay safe do 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 do